Right, so that was a report from Kan Prayag. We've also been getting you ground reports uh, from Joshi Mart, what the situation is like. Now suddenly there's talk of a gag order that has been issued after the ISRO satellite maps, the details of which we are playing out, have been taken down. Is there something more to it or is it to ensure there's no panic? Is the research not completely done? What is it about? We're going to be talking about that. And what happens to Joshi Mart? After Joshi Mart, there are other areas as well that are reporting similar land subsidence. Is this going to be a wake-up call or not? Dr. Vien Jha, scientist and former joint director of DRDO, joining us on the broadcast. Professor C.S. Dubey, geoscientist, also with us. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Dr. Jha, first of all, you know, because there's so much doubt or a lot of questions being raised on this alleged gag order or the fact that the ISRO report has been taken down, what do you make of it? Uh, should we be reading too much into these reports being pulled down? We here on the channel. Look, the report by ISRO must have been based on to some data. Okay. And that data of 5.4 centimeter of uh, sinking of the terrain at Joshi, Joshi Mud. You know, it is something like this stone. It has gone down by this stone. Now, whether that much of uh, accuracy of uh, the satellite from hundreds of kilometers away could be of substance, you know, I, I'm not doubting. I'm sure ISRO, ISRO must have had the reasons to put that data and uh, come to the conclusion that it has uh, sub subsided, subsided, uh, subsided by about 5.4 uh, centimeter. But think of the political upheaval that happens in the India. So maybe that ISRO itself is trying to re-establish uh, the facts of the data, re-examine the data and take a conclusion. But I'll tell you something. See, the subsiding of the surface is something which is under no doubt. But look at the Joshi Mutt, look at current PR that you have reported. Uh, Joshi Mutt, of course, if there is a particular reason, what is happening there in the Josh in, in current PR? Obviously, all such surfaces where the inhabitation is there, the surface having been formed as a consequence of the uh, say decades or the centuries old landslide wherein the stones have come down from after the earthquake or something like that landslide was there and then the soil has formed over it over that soil underneath that soil the type of rock the type of gaps that is there underneath it will take only a given load so how much of load per square meter is there on that surface will determine whether it is going to sink or it is not going to sink so under these circumstances, wherever there is a dense uh, inhabitation going to come, it is going to happen in case if that inhabitation is over the slope, as we understand that the Joshi Mutt, that particular slope, Ward 1, 4, 5, and 7, which is uh, formed as a result okay. of the very old earthquakes and uh, the, 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 the sound, uh, the, the, the sand has been there, the, the rocks have been there. Okay. It is going to happen. It all depends upon what type of rock is within okay. if the rock is porous it is going to subside further if the rock is solid it okay. is going to be less okay so you know we're going to be talking about what the issue is in Joshima because as of now it has also been temporarily halted a lot of long-term plans had been made by the government but it has been ha halted because of the inclement weather and because of a lot of protests that were taking place uh, but before that just want to play out the details that we're playing on the screens as well of what the ISRO report really said it said from April 7, 2022 to November 9, 2022, that is in seven months, there's been a sinking of about nine centimeters. So this is extremely alarming. Not just that, in just 12 days, that is from December 27th to January 8th, uh, the sinking recorded was 5.4 centimeters. So this is what caused a lot of alarm. Of course, yes, the residents were also extremely worried. So, you know, the reason why... The ISRO report was perhaps taken down. Could it be because of the panic it could have been set in? Should there be absolute transparency or not? Uh, Professor Dube, what do you think? Because, you know, there was a big concern. First in seven months, about nine inches. Then in just 12 days, it sank about five centimeters. These are the ISRO satellite images that gave out these details. Is there a need for absolute transparency, whether it is for the residents, whether it is for the people of the country? Look, uh, ISRO once gave it on the you know on the uh, uh, somewhere in the noting it it is fact if it is if it said any time 
Yeah, I will take it as a fact or a proof that there is this, this is sinking by hmm. nine centimeters or and latest by fastly by five or four centimeters in seven days or four days. Now the question is that where it is lying. Now we know that it is on a glacial rebis. It is near a main the fault which is called as main central thrust and Vakrata thrust and Munshari thrust. Hmm. It is on the on a landslide which has a burden of the things. So looking at all the things, you know, this is a true fact that it has sunk on this, uh, uh, on this, uh, you know, uh, there is a sinking going on and it will fasten, you know, if, if, it, if it continues, there is a threat to people. And if you don't, if you say it like this, that this is sinking, hmm. naturally it's, it's bound to have problem, political problems. Okay. So as earlier said, you know, they, they are trying to do it, but you know, side by side, they must try to rehabilitate all the people partially or totally in the shelters, private shelters, don't feel out what is going on okay. and first give them shelter and then look into the problem, you know. Okay. Uh, but, you know, Dr. Jha, you, when you mentioned that, uh, you know, what the ISRO might have given out, there could be some changes in that. So, the NDMA statement that came out said that the organization's own interpretations of data are creating a lot of confusion. This is the reason why it's being seen as a gag order. Because I, what the NDMA has said that these are organization's own interpretation of what the situation is. But these are satellite images. So, are yeah, these yeah. images showing what the reality is on ground? Yeah. So this is a fact. This is, these are realities on the ground. That's what I told you. The moment ISRO comes to a conclusion, uh, the moment ISRO comes to a conclusion that it is, uh, you know, 5.4 <laughs> centimeter, uh, you know, you, you can understand what sort of data this is there. And the satellite is measuring from hundreds of kilometers out in, uh, in the outer space. So, so and, and the subsequent political upheavals that happens in India, due to that, maybe ISRO may be trying to look at the, uh, re-establish the data, re uh, again, recheck the facts, look into the data, and whether it is actual in the absolute terms, or there could be a relative terms. Hmm. Both of these have got huge consequences in the political uh, uh, terms in India. So from that point of view, I wouldn't be surprised if ISRO would have taken, you know, uh, willingly uh, back for the time being to recalculate uh, the entire thing and come up again with the fresh data or uh, re-establish the same data that yes, they have rechecked it and this is what is the fact. I, I wouldn't be surprised for this. Okay, all right. But the NDMA to come and say that, you know, this is your own interpretation when these are satellite images saying this is causing a lot of confusion. That's the reason why such questions are being asked. Look, Thank look, you so look, much uh, for joining. Uh, yes, uh, Professor Dubey, very yeah, quickly. I'm just saying that, look, the, these satellite images are uh, very accurate satellite imageries, you know. And once they are giving it on, on somewhere on a paper, it means that they have done some kind of a great understanding studies with the satellite. Now, yes, there will be a threat and to people if they understand this and there will be more evoke. Okay. So for this, probably they have, they have gone back to the, their... Uh, taken okay. back so the report. question being what's there to hide we know that the subsequent governments have failed the people of Joshi Mart. is that the reason why they don't want the data no, to I come out thank you so much for joining us unfortunately we'll have to leave it at that uh, these questions of course remain maybe the ISRO will also be getting us new images of what the situation is like we'll keep a track of that two 